In other news, ties between North Korea and the United States are also warming after that historic summit in Singapore. North Korea this week cancelled its annual anti-U.S. imperialism. Across its border with China, optimism is running high that the isolated country may be serious about opening up this time. Olivia Seung reports from Dandong. This is the Malayan, a symbol of Singapore. But this particular one is located some 4,000 kilometers away from the city-state in the Chinese city of Dandong. And just a stone's throw away is North Korea. The Malayan is located in what's known as Singapore City, a massive residential and commercial development located in Dandong's new district. But while sales were brisk when the project was launched in 2009, interest swiftly took a nosedive following North Korea's repeated nuclear tests and missile launches. Right until this year, as North Korea emerges from its self-imposed isolation. TC Code, the project's developer, says sales have skyrocketed in just a few months, from less than 10 units sold in the first quarter of this year to 550 units in May alone. And he expects interest to remain high as investors anticipate the gradual opening up of North Korea. Being the largest Chinese city bordering North Korea, Dandong's fortunes have long been hinged to those of its reclusive neighbour. But as investors ride this latest wave of optimism, reports say that house prices have risen by more than 30% this year, prompting the city government to impose sales and mortgage restrictions. Well, it may be raining right now, but it certainly seems like the gloomy season for the property market here in Dandong has passed and many people are expecting things to become a lot more vibrant in this new district. But they're hoping it will not stop there. What people and businessmen are hoping to do is to be able to soon make that trip across the bridge and across the Yalu River to North Korea and start investing in a new market. This bridge connecting Dandong with North Korea was built during an earlier age of optimism, but it remains idle long after it was due to open in 2015. And on the North Korean side, it still ends abruptly in farmland with no onward connections. Still, residents are hoping that this time is different. But some experts caution against the unbridled optimism. They say that even if North Korea does open up, it has a long way to go before it's ready for business. With the absence of reliable laws and regulations, the foreign investment may not be secured. The infrastructure in North Korea is absolutely backward and outdated. And, uh, and if you invest in that country, you may find it, you, you companies suffered by the shortage of electricity and waters. And uh, some of the area you cannot access because of the lack of the transportation vehicles. So the, 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 the opportunities coexist with the risks. But it seems for now that investors are willing to ride the early wave of optimism in hopes of a better future. Hope that, as history has shown, can also quickly turn to disappointment when it comes to North Korea. Olivia Xiong, Channel News Asia, Dandong.